God damn it. Stop it, Dort! I said yeah! Sleep well in your beds, because if this thing comes true, there ain't gonna be any more. Showmanship and theatrics. When a magician waves his hand and says, this is where the magic is happening, the real trick is happening somewhere else. Misdirection, a basic concept of magic. Call it magic. Call it church. Call it church. I call it magic. When I'm with you, and I just got broken, broken into two. Hey YouTube world, harvest is plenty. Hope all is well. Thanks for stopping by to check out the video. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button for me. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. So it's all about magic. As the intro says, you know, these dark magicians continue to weave their magic spells and illusions on the entire world. And specifically in America and on the American people. It reminds me of when Moses and Aaron went to Pharaoh. Pharaoh, release my people, release God's people. And God started leveling Egypt, the land of darkness, the land of bondage, started leveling them with curses. Pharaoh called out his dark magicians and said, can you counterfeit and do what they're doing? And, you know, James and Jambers, the magicians, they came up and they were able to counterfeit the first three uh, miracles of God. But after that, they couldn't. And they told Pharaoh, hey, this is the hand of God or the finger of God. We can't, you know, battle or match that. And, and, and you know, you know the rest of the story of what happened. And God struck Egypt real, real hard. God hates Egypt. But yet today, people still continue to go back to Egypt and letting Egypt be their shadow. Whether they're digging into the laws of the Mayotte, whether they're following the Egyptian Book of the Dead, or whatever else that's going on, the Emerald Tablet and all of that stuff that was created by the fallen angels, they're still going back to Egypt. Well, these magicians are about to pull another magic trick out the hat. 9-11 happened. We're in the 22nd year today, 9-11-2023. Uh, and 22 um, in occult numerology or in Germantria, 22 means something special to these Luciferians or to these occultists. It's also the number of the master builder, um, the major arcana. In the tarot card deck, uh, you know, the fool and the, and, and the key with the circle, it also stands for completion. And so they have completed their cycle after 22 years of the march toward the new world order. It was kicked off by George Bush and his Republican Party in 
9-11-2001, the war, neocons is what they called them, or the war hawks or whatever. Um, and here we stand. And we're moving into 2024 next year, which is the, in the Chinese uh, uh, calendar, 2024 is the year of the dragon. And so this year is the year of the rabbit. 2024 is the year of the dragon. And we all know what the dragon stands for. If you turn your Bible to Revelations 12, 9, it says, And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil, and Satan was deceived at the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. So that's where we're at. And as we move into the year of the dragon, 2024, that year is going to represent transformation. It's going to be the 23rd year. And 23 in occult numerology stands for death, destruction. That's coming. It's going to be a second 9-11, guys. Many people have talked about it. Um, I have a very small channel, but there are people who have channels 10, 20, 100 times larger than mine who have talked about it as well. Even Klaus Schwab, head of the World Economic Forum, he said another 9-11 was coming. He said it was going to be a cyber pandemic. I've also read that preceding the next 9-11, it's going to be some major uh, natural disaster. Now, that could be anything. It could be a Hurricane Katrina uh, style event, but much larger that wipes out the Gulf Coast. It could be the San Andreas Fault kicks off in the West and takes off and goes all the way up uh, through Oregon and Washington. Something could happen in Yellowstone. And so I'm not sure what they have in store and what they have planned, but they have it planned for next year. It was also predicted in my pet goat. I don't know if you guys seen that. Um, I have a little bit of it coming up, um, so stay tuned. Um, and you guys are familiar with the sheeps and the goats, right? If you turn to scripture in the book of Matthew, chapter 25, it talks about the Son of Man, which is Jesus Christ. When he returns in his glory, he's going to take the sheep and the goats, and he's going to separate them. He's going to put the sheep on the right hand side and the goats on the left, which is where the left hand path comes from. And the goats represent the goat of Mendes, uh, represents those who have not accepted Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior. And so all the goats are going to get burned up. They're going to be placed on the left, like the wheat and the tares, and they're going to get burned up. You know, the contract to enter in the new covenant is a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. If you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, and if you don't accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, you will be considered a goat. I know a lot of people say, well, I pray to the Most High. I pray to Jehovah. I pray to Allah. I pray to Buddha. I pray. That's not Jesus Christ. There's only one name under heaven that man can be saved, and that's Jesus Christ. No other name. And next year, 2023, which is be the 23rd year, they're going to rain death and destruction, and America will be sacrificed. See, the symbol of America is not the eagle. The symbol of America is the phoenix bird. I've said that a many, 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 many times, a million times. And the, the phoenix bird is the mythological bird that flies high up into the sun, and it's burned up. And as its ashes come down to the ground, it's reborn again. So America has to be reborn. And that's where the second 9-11 is coming. America's going to fall. And when America falls, probably next year in 2024, I mean, I'm not God. God could back this all the way up. But according to these demons in human flesh, they're planning for it to take off next year. You know, sometime around 2024, 2025, I'm thinking next year that they're going to sacrifice America and that America is going to fall and when America falls that means a lot of people are going to get killed and when you look at Deagle's forecast Deagle says that America population will be reduced by 68 percent by 2025 
So that puts us in 2024, the year of the dragon, where America is sacrificed. Now, you know, this video was uh, impromptu. I did it this morning, actually, because uh, I want to get something out there. But guys, there's a lot of trouble headed our way. Um, I suggest you seek Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and enter a personal covenant relationship with him. If not, um, you know, listen to me now. Believe me later on. The pressure's going to be on come next year sometime. And I pray that, you know, you all, your loved ones, your family, everybody, that we're all going to be saved and be in a great position uh, from the destruction that's coming. Um, I have no fears or no worries. I'm prepared um, physically, spiritually, and intellectually, and emotionally, and mentally. And I hope you guys are there as well and you have your house in order. So that's all I have for you. I love you guys. Remember to continue to pray without ceasing. I have more videos coming up about some things. Um, so just stay tuned to the channel. All right. Love you guys. Catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Fingers under the first word of the story. Get ready to read the story the fast way. Get ready. The girl had a pet goat. Go on. She liked to go running with her pet goat. Go on. She played with her pet goat. Try it again. Get ready from the beginning of that sentence. Get ready. She played with her goat in her house. Go on. She played with her goat in her yard. Good job, go on. But a goat did something that made the girl say. Let's clear.
clean that up. Get ready for that with butt. Get ready. But the Lord did something that made the girls that mad. Go on. The girls hate things. Go on. He hate kids and he hate kids. Try that again. Get ready. He hate kids and he hate kids. Good job. Go on. He hate kids. Go on. Try that again. Get ready. Good job. Go on. What's behind the word said? Comma. And what does that comma mean? Let's read that sentence again. Get ready. Go on. Try that again. Go on. What is that word? Sound it out. What word? Start from the beginning of that sentence. Go on. Go on. What's behind the word said? And what does that comma mean? Let's read that sentence again. Let's start from the girl. The girl said that if you let the girl stay with us, Nice and loud, crisp voices. Let's go. Go on. Good job. That was a mouthful. Are you okay? Really? <laughs> Let's go. Must be six <laughs> From the beginning, fingers under the first word. Let's go. But one day her car robber came to the girl's house. Go on. He saw a big red car near the house. And he said, I will steal that car. Go on. He ran to the car and started to Thank you.